Boom, morning. Did I look in the mirror before I did this? Possibly not. Uh, I think, good morning folks, it's Sunday, the, I think it, we're on the 3rd of March. Heading to British summertime. Contrary to popular window evidence. But I think the, the light is different today. I'm not quite so fuzzy. There's, there's, a def, there's, a different, there's a different hue in the room today. Um, three minutes to go before eight o'clock. Sandra's in, morning S. What's to report, please? Uh, I think it's frosty out there. I had a message from mum this morning to say it's frosty. Stuck my head out the door. Yep, yeah, definitely frosty. Kels, morning. Kels, is this right? It is me, isn't it? <laughs> you make me nervous when you show up, Kels. It's, it's like, oh, was I meant to be here? I think I am. I think uh, I think I'm on the noon, Kels. I can't. Oh my goodness, help me out. I forgot it wrong. Don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm here now. Uh, because you're there, Kels, that must mean you haven't gone live as well. Oh, that's good. Are you still in bed? So you definitely were not on the ATM. Uh, morning, Miss P. Um, I can see I can see the numbers racking up. It's it's not like um, it's not like Taylor Swift's numbers numbers would be. No, 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 no Grammys or Emmys or or billion dollar paychecks to be had here on Make Movement Your Mission. But Sheila's here. Maddie's here. Kels is kind of here. Eyes just open. Margaret's here. That's all we need to know. Very frosty today. Oh, Sandra, tell, oh, come on, tell us. Uh, you were singing in your first show last night. Uh, tell, uh, yeah, the, the a cappella. Oh, Barbara, Barbara something. Come on, reveal all, please. Thick frost in Bristol. Morning, Francis. Francis, have you uh, acclimatised to the, to the weather change? Since your Australian trip. Morning, Sue. It, it's eight o'clock. That means a free two one Bex Downey later live training. We've got the window open. I have. I like listening to the birds in the morning, Carol. Uh, but this window is right above the reception area, Premier Inn. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting all the chitter chatter from the humans. But I, I, I generally have the window open because I like the sound of the birds. Almost says front morning, Super G. Uh, barbershop, yes. Uh, what's the tune? Is it one we would know, Sandra? Did it go well? Are you happy with your first performance? Morning, Gillian with a J. Um, I know I'm over-egging the preamble a bit. I'm going to get going right now, any minute. Um, yes, Gillian with a G. I've just had a message from, from Miss, Miss P. That's going to be oh, painful and limiting. But what, what a great brain training, Gillian. Always to, always to look for the silver lining, because we've got it really. What great brain training for your left hand, for your left arm. Left arm is really going to progress in these weeks. I'm not making light of it. I suppose I am a bit, really, but forgive me, Gillian with a G. All the best to you. Uh, morning, Vivian. Did you like the flash mob? I mean, I know not everyone likes Julie Andrews first thing in the morning, but I thought it was quite, quite, quite uppy lifting, I thought. Uh, right, come on. Let's do it. Me. Um, late life training, the moves as always, and uh, I've got the end of the premier in bed. I've got the windowsill. I've got my shoes on today. Pick your position, folks. Sit or stand. Start with some standing circulation boost as always. And just to say, if I disappear, it's because the 5G has um, has crashed. People are waking up, going online. I'm on the I'm on the, on the 5G because the Premier Inn won't hold. So if I disappear, I'm probably not going to come back. Here we go, extra lift and extend. Weight between both feet, add this gap, start steady, stay steady, keep your knees low. Continue to use the support as and when you need it, just kind of wherever it is. Ideally, slightly in front or, or to the side of you. Spend some time just, uh, just turning up the dial on your body systems. If you've had a good night's sleep, everything's a bit sleepy, so give your body time to adjust to the changes of being active and awake. 
extra extra distance between ribs and hips, more ankles, feet and toes, um, kind of just really gradual and steady and then bring in the other parts, the movements from the shoulder, not from the elbow, uh, la la, la la, not la la, Julian with a G, you won't be want to be doing this one on that right side, but maybe on the left side, doubles if you're happy, wide 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 legs, maybe go for a diagonal as well. Carry on standard up boroughs, seated options, all of that, depending what, that's better. Have a hip walk forward, come into shot down lean, um, kind of centre comfortably, not, you know, not, not teetering on the edge. I kind of have to come forward a little bit more than I'd like to, just so you can see what I'm doing. Feet back and down, you might want to start from the bottom end or from the top end. Steady and rhythmical, all comfortable for you with your diagonal options. That's your cert boost options, uh, folks. Holding on if you should like more support. Keep the knees low. Maybe keep the balls of your feet in contact with the floor. That movement, that bending of the foot and feet, you're going to feel all of that activity in your calves. All that is going to help shunt the blood upwards. Okay, ready for moves. Three from the top, three from the middle, three from the bottom. Sounds like countdown, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, from the top end then, let me come a bit closer. Head moves. Position yourself so that you feel more upright. Have an ease back through the shoulder blades. Maybe give yourself a, a prompt in the center. Take the slow turn and return. Now, the minute you turn the head, you can't, you, you can see more about my range of motion on this than I can in this situation. If you up or down, just aim to keep it, it level just so that you're taking control of that most comfortable head turn, that so side profile, keep it moving. The aim isn't to stay over there. The aim is to keep moving, 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 and come back, 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 slow as you go. Have some hands on support if you should need, or have a sit down. This brings on any uh, uncomfortable sensations, make it smaller, make it slower. Have a pause. The third, I haven't done shoulders, have I? Oh no, what went on there? What went on there? Up and down, I'm ahead of the game is what I am. It's because I talked about shoulder blades, but I didn't actually do them. Ah, okay, after the head turns then, are you, all, are you all shouting at the phone saying, she's forgot the shoulders, all the way up, all the way down. And an extra range round. Uh, can you keep your head still as you do that? Keep the head still, head still, head still, head still, head still. Squeeze. There you go. Bit back to front on that one. Uh, then there's the head turns. And then the uh, neck movements here. Ease in the, the chin back, the nose back, the head back. As if you're easing your head back into a, into a pillow. You might want to do this one also perhaps stood, stood against the wall. Mm, can't really get on the wall here, but ease back. Maybe your buttocks on the wall, maybe your shoulder blades on the wall if that's comfortable. And it might give you a, a clearer direction of travel. The aim is to ease back, give yourself a double chin, not to look up or to, or to, or to tuck the chin in. It's definitely a, a bear. All right, second round set boost. Pick it up where you left off. Arms and legs together, arms only, one arm only, seated. Legs only, seated, single arm, seated, double arm. These, these are the options, pick the one for you. It should be kind of graded and comfortable and achievable and manageable. Just a flurry in between each of these three sets of moves. Trunk moves, so, so significant. Your arms are attached to your trunk, they work together. Your legs are attached to your trunk, they work together. So they're kind of, kind of the center of everything. Support if you should want to the front of you. Wide stance if you're in the stand. It's a, it's a lengthen, lengthen before you bend. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. You know you want to. And the other way. Um, just ease open here. You may even want to turn kind of turn the palms of the biceps forward. 
uh, the front of the arms, uh, sorry. So that might give you extra sense of extension here. And then have a release. So it might be kind of there and then over you go. The aim is to go sideways only, maybe just ease your fingertips down the sides of, of your trousers and then come back. That wider position of the feet is going to give you better balance. The same in sit, anchor the buttocks, anchor the feet, hands either on your thighs or on the arms of the chair or release down if you have space and back round. Same speed down and up. So easing, oh, let's go the other way. Let's go down and back and pause in the middle and then take the switch off. So fluid and smooth into the bend and back again. Have a pause, switch off in, bet in between each one. There's, there is as much value in the rests and the resets as there are the moves themselves. Life requires us to constantly readjust positions, get set your body up for the task, be that push, pull, carry, reach, grab. So, um, yeah, move in and out. Set up again, here's your trunk turn, bit of knee bend, keeping the hips where they're at, and then take the turn. Uh, the aim of keeping the hips still is purely so that you can uh, isolate and be specific about the, the rotatey turny bit. And for that reason, I say, give it a whirl without any arms at all. And then, of course, in, in real life, you'll be turning to, to go somewhere, so the, the arms will be there. But the aim here is to focus on, are you making the most of your turny bits? You can see there through your, through your sweat shirt. Same in sit, turny bits, lengthen first, then turn. Take the arms out of the equation, have a thought, avoid to turn the head. There's no, technically there's no neck movement here at all, because all the movement, it just so happens my head is connected to my spine, so there is there isn't any independent move. You might want to put your fingertip on your chin, your thumb there, and then you will absolutely know if your head is starting to move. Of course your head moves in daily life. Of course other things move in daily life, but the aim here is, are you making the most of that essential turny stuff through, the, through your spine? Third movement of the top end is the back extension. Hand on a wall or support. Ensure that <clears throat> this isn't turning into a, a sway activity. So keep the weight over the balls of your feet. The movement is purely there. Look, nothing else from here down is moving. It's all kind of from the, from the middle bit up. You've got hands on support if you should want, or have a sit down if that, that helps. If you are in sit, have a check of what your, your pelvis is doing. So away from slump and slink into Lengthen and extend, and there. And, and the same thing applies, that the, there is no movement independently of the neck. So if you do that again, there. If, you, if your chin starts to come away from your digit, you know that you've, you've moved the head. See, you see what I mean? Third round, so it boost, pick it up where you left off. This might be the time where you go for a wander, put your kettle on. Crowbar and anything else you fancy here as well. You might want to put in a bit of a, a bit of three circles here as you're taking the march. Start to move the arms as well. Get stuff going. It could even be a bit of wavy arm thing, a bit of freestyling, anything you fancy. Uh, in ready for ankles, feet and toes. Three key moves, the toes, the feet, the ankles. Toe scrunches, support if you should want, shift the weight when you go into the into the foot bend, the toe hinges. You might want to practice your, your turning here as well to do the outside. Practice your toe bends, your foot bends, should I say. And then there's the ankle moves. There and there. Keep it moving and rhythmical and smooth. Your supporting leg is doing some work here as well. Switch off in between each one. Change sides. Off you go again and then practice all of that into stride de deliberately longer controlled stride put some extra push in the in the, off the back end get some extra toe lift at the front end and in sit 
The same, if you're involving feet and legs, if they're in your day, get them moving. Um, skilling up or preparing legs for sc standing, standing activities uh, is beneficial in sit. Removes the balance challenge, uh, so you can focus on mobility in a sit position, certainly. So there's your toe scrunches, flex and extend. Bring the feet back a bit to go for your, your foot bends. Slow and controlled on these, not loads and loads either, just quality, not quantity. Have a hip walk back, 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 back. This gives more support for the thigh. And then you can focus on ankle moves. Keeping the foot close to the floor. Same on the other side, a couple of those. And then more practice of the hip walk forward. You need this hip movement for all of your shifty hip moves in and out of chairs and then you may want to also rehearse foot positioning in sits could bring in some trunk control and movement with that you could bring in some reaching practice with that with one or two arms all of that is in the mix anything else you want to add in now could be some extra knee bends could be a few extra heel raises maybe a few extra sit to stands maybe some upper limb squeezes, and of course the, the three circles, as I've just said. All those directions of travel through your arms are probably gonna be required today, especially if you've got a light bulb to change. Maybe not. <coughs> I think, uh, I hope Kels is with you for noon and four, and then uh, we'll hatch a plan, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next week somewhere.